Welcome back. This is the RPA Champion and in today's video you will be learning how to use the Navigate stage from Blue Prism. The Navigate stage is a component of the objects in Blue Prism and to use it you need to open an object. So the Navigate is only present also in the object. The Navigate will allow you to click on different buttons, it will navigate allow you to open an application, open the web browser, navigate to a certain link and just navigate through either your web page or an application. Now let's see how we can open, for example, an uh, application with Navigate. So the first thing that we would want our process to do would be to launch an application. So I have previously uh, spied Internet Explorer, as you have seen. So by dragging and dropping the Navigate stage, I'm presented with this window. So this is my main element, and this is the child of the main element that I have spied using the application modeler. So I would like to open the browser. So I will take the main element, I will drag and drop, drop it into the actions, and then I will select one of the actions available. Now we will go into detail into each one of these actions because they do some pretty cool and useful things but in this example we are using the launch option now when we select the launch action we also have different inputs and parameters that we can configure with different values now in our case since we have already inserted the link inside the application modeler and this is already configured we don't need to add any more information here so this is all that we have to do for now so if we click OK, now we have created, and it's also good practice to name this accordingly. A good naming convention is always good to have. So let's try our first navigate. So what just happened it opened Internet Explorer on the other browser so this means it has worked this navigate step has worked it has opened uh, it has opened the browser successfully now blue prism has is not responding <laughs> We are back in our process. Let's try it again. Let's set this as the first stage. And it should open Internet Explorer. There it is. Hopefully it is not going to crash again. It has worked successfully. So this is one example of the Navigate stage. Now let's quickly see how we could, for example, click this button right here. So this will be also a navigate action. So let's use the application modeler and just spy very quickly this button. Now let's check, let's uncheck this. Let's remove the link. Let's highlight the button again, perfect. We can check that the element type is a button, so this is a button. And again, a good name convention is always good. Now let's create another action. We have another navigate, so just again, you just insert another navigate. We take the button, and now since we have selected a different element, which is a button, we have other options inside of our action. So Blue Prism has identified that this is a different kind of element and it's giving us the ability to use different actions with this. So we don't have, for example, anymore the launch option like we had before with when we selected the internet element. So we are going to select the click. Let's click OK. Connect this. Let's change the name. And let's try, let's try this navigate 
action. Let's set this as the first stage. There we go. It has automatically clicked, therefore it has navigated successfully to that page. Now this was, I hope that from this video you learned the basic and overview of how the navigate stage work, how you can get started with it. The best way for you to get started with it is that you start playing around and using it in your processes and seeing how it works for yourself. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed my content, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Have a great day and see you in the next video.